Hey guys, how are we doing? So we are on another Swag Kage video. Another Dragon Ball related Swag Kage video. I really loved his uh, I do not like Dragon Ball Super video. I thought it was awesome. And so I thought, hey, let's find another one. And don't worry, yes, the, uh, what one is it? The problem with Kefla is coming next. Seth the Programmer. And then, you guys have been suggesting Seth the Programmer videos. Don't worry, I'm not ignoring the comment section. <laughs> I'm very aware. Just, I'm a very busy boy. And uh, there's only so much stuff I can record at certain times and whatnot. And I'm going away soon. I'm trying to make sure there's two videos a day for you while I'm away for three weeks. <laughs> so anyway. Let's uh, let's just get straight into this. This is top five broken Dragon Ball abilities. This is going to be interesting. Let's uh, let's just get straight into this, shall we? I can't die. It is impossible. Okay. Even if I self-destruct, I will always come back. This is very. Oh. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Here we go. So today I'm going to be talking about the top five hacks in Dragon Ball, and the best way nice. to describe what a hacks is, is to direct you to the TV Tropes page on a Story Breaker right. In essence, a hacks or Story Breaker ability is something that is so unfair it nearly breaks the plot. Yeah. The <laughs> unstoppable Exodia! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dragon Ball has quite a few of these, ranging from Garlic Jr.'s complete oh immortality God. to yeah. Cell and Boo's ridiculous regeneration, regeneration abilities yeah. to the incredibly overpowered results of the fusion dance and everything in between. The only rules Bro. for this list are I am not considering powers based on how powerful they are individually, but right. rather how powerful they are in the context of the arc or Right, it's relevant to the time that they're in it. I think you'll get what I mean once I start. You just get into it and all this Without <laughs> wasting any more time, I'm gonna jump right into all right, this is gonna be the top good. five most overpowered hacks abilities in Dragon Ball. Nice. Number five. <laughs> A lot of people like to sleep on Krillin. You know what Krillin can do though? Cut through anything. Yeah. Literally anything. Yeah. As stated by Mr. Akira Toriyama himself, oh, right, okay. the Kien Zone is capable of cutting through absolutely anything, no exceptions. Now I know there was that one filler oh, no. where the Kien Zone connects with the back of Cell's neck and just dissipates. Oh yeah? That doesn't count. In every other situation, Krillin should be able to cut through literally anybody no matter how powerful they are, as evidenced by the fact <laughs> that he was able to cut off Frieza's tail yeah. and slash through Nappa's cheek. Both of these characters were significantly these, more powerful. Yeah, they were the way time, more strong. Which goes to show that the Kianzan just completely ignores a person's physical defenses. Cell and Frieza both have the ability, and Vegeta seems to as well. Oh, yeah. But Krillin's the only one who uses it often, and not often enough, in my opinion. If I were Krillin, I would spam, spam the it. shit out of yeah. the Kianzan because I would be able to kill whoever I wanted with that thing. Granted, it's not quite as overpowered later on in the series when the main villains are capable of completely regenerating, so yeah. there's that, but that's why it's so low on the list. Nonetheless, anyone without regeneration powers that gets hit with the Kienzon is pretty much gone. Yeah. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Number four. You know, Senzu Beans are kind of ridiculous. They can, without fail, heal pretty much all injuries, like, ever. Yeah. This even works when they're split Unless, in half, like, too, arms which vaporize, is yeah. something that the Z-Fighters seem to forget later on in the series, but <laughs> that's not the point. See, when the Senzu Bean is combined with a Saiyan's ability to get stronger when they recover from near death, things start to look <laughs> a bit ridiculous. Boost. The Zenkai ability yeah. sounded cool on paper at first, maybe, but as the series progresses, you begin to realize just how incredibly insane it has the potential to be. Through mm. Zenkai boosts alone, Vegeta manages to go from weaker than all of Frieza's top henchmen Force, to yeah. stronger than Frieza's third form yeah. over the span of one arc alone. This is a textbook example of a story breaker power, yeah. especially because of the fact that it can be exploited as shown when Vegeta asks Krillin to damage him yeah. before getting Dende to heal him. If the main characters of the show decided that they wanted to use Senzu beans intelligently, you know, like against Cell or something, they would be pretty much unstoppable because look, this is a win-win. If you fight somebody who's weaker than you, then you don't have to worry about getting near death and you win. If you fight somebody who's stronger than you, they beat you within an inch of your life, you eat a Senzu bean, bean and you either become up. stronger than them or repeat the process until you do get stronger. Profit. How do you stop that? Oh wait, you don't. Amazing. Number three. <laughs> now look, okay? 
I understand Here that natural power progression, especially in fictional universes based solely around fighting like Dragon Ball, can inevitably lead the heroes into fighting some pretty ridiculous villains. Yeah. If the villains weren't powerful, then you Boy. wouldn't have any sense of danger, there wouldn't be any threat. Yeah. I get it. But there's a such thing as going too far. Majin Buu is just a walking hax. I can't pick any of his abilities in particular because he just has an unstoppable moveset, okay? Yeah. Alright, 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 look, look let's, <laughs> let's run go. through everything Boo can do, do yeah, just okay. in case you forgot. Boo can manipulate matter. It affects everyone, no matter how powerful they chocolate. are. And if you <laughs> don't believe me, he even turned Vegito into candy. He can absorb people at will, even if they are stronger than him. Like, yeah. significantly stronger than and him, then use like the power. Gohan was. And he gains all of their abilities, all of their raw power, and all of their intelligence. He can regenerate endlessly from any injuries with zero difficulty. He seems to have a limitless key supply. He has Warp more planets. raw power than pretty much anyone he in the series, save Go Tanks. Gohan and Vegito, he can copy moves on sight, and he eventually gains the ability to warp anywhere in the universe. Mm -hmm. What the fuck? <laughs> he broke. <laughs> Don't All right. Take Boo's absorption ability, okay. crank it up 20 levels, and then you've got Baby's possession ability. Oh, this ability course. doesn't seem to have any limits, admittedly like GC. Boo's absorption ability, aside from the fact that the target has to be injured before Baby can possess them. The thing is, I use injured very loosely because it can be anything as small as a cut or scrape on the target's body, and yeah. Baby has them. Like, man... All it would take is a paper cut, and Baby would have you no questions asked. Yeah. What's even worse is that he can possess multiple people at the same time, and make all of them do his fighting for them. So when he has another potential target in mind, he can send the people he's already controlling after that target, and the moment Just they get injured, up. which is bound <laughs> to boom. happen when they're fighting multiple foes at once, Baby can sneak in through the inevitable cuts and scrapes that are gonna pop up on his target's body, and then possess them. What's even crazier is that with this possession, Baby seems to make his target a lot stronger. stronger yeah. <laughs> because Goku, in base form, I might add, had pretty no. much no trouble whatsoever with Trunks, Goten, and everybody else the Baby had taken over. Meanwhile, Vegeta, on the other hand, was being given quite a run for his money by Baby Goten and Baby Gohan. Yet somehow, Baby Vegeta is able to utterly thrash Goku without even transforming, I might add, when Goku cranks his power up all the way to Super Huge Saiyan 3. With Vegeta possessed, <laughs> Baby even manages to transform into a golden great ape and exceed Super Saiyan 4 Goku in power despite the fact that Golden Great Ape is the precursor to Super Saiyan 4. Yes. Speaking of Goku, Baby oh no. could have taken Goku over if he wanted to. Why didn't he do that? Why didn't he do that? Honorable mentions. Okay. <laughs> All right, before I move on to number one, here are some honorable mentions. Now, these didn't make it either because they're just flatly not as impressive as right. the other hacks on the list. They're not as impressive in context, they're situational, or the characters using them don't fight. But all right, yeah, without further ado, here they are. Carrot touch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> the devil might be... Time stop. Yes, of course. <laughs> While he's holding his breath in it. Body change. Big one. Fruit of the tree of might. <laughs> yep. Very strong. <clears throat> of course, complete immortality. Big game changer. What a move. <laughs> Stone spit. Yep. That was Deborah, is not it? Confusion, of course. Oh god, so what's number one gonna be then? Golden Freezer, okay. Complete invincibility. What's number one gonna be? <laughs> Time Leap? These are all honorable mentions. Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, what's number one? Temporal do over reality warp. What is number one? <clears throat> Energy absorption and ultra sensitivity. Oh my god, what is number one? Number one. Alright, look. 
Cell might not be the most powerful character on this list, but that said, he definitely has the potential to be the most ridiculous, and, contextually, might be the most powerful villain relative to the strength of the good guys at the time. Right. Granted, that's up for debate. Boo was leagues above everybody, Omega Shenron was too, all that. But see here, I'm not quite sure how Cell even died. I can't die! It's impossible! Because, let's look at this, right? He has regeneration, which he got from the cells of Piccolo, and this yes. is not just any regeneration. No, this regeneration power exceeds Piccolo's by a long shot. It takes no time, first of all. Piccolo's regeneration takes quite a while, yeah. but Cell's takes pretty much no time at all. Cell can regenerate his entire body from a single cell, no less. And instead of getting weaker like Namekians do when he regenerates, Cell gets stronger thanks to the Saiyan cells he has. Yes. And the power that Cell receives from his Zenkai boost is proportional to the severity of the injury he sustained. So if he regenerates from a single cell, like he can when he self-destructs, he gets significantly more powerful. See what's really weird about that, right, is that it's stated by Vegeta that Zenkai boosts only happen in response to an injury that isn't self-inflicted, meaning that Cell's self-destruction shouldn't have netted him a Zenkai boost. Interesting. Since it does, that means Cell could repeatedly self-destruct, regenerate, self-destruct, regenerate, and it He's doesn't matter if there's time. no atmosphere or anything nearby. It doesn't matter how disfigured he is because he has Frieza cells, can survive in a vacuum of space, and can survive any injury no matter how gruesome or disfiguring it is. Crazy. And on top of that, apparently, his cells can somehow learn techniques of people who are nearby when he regenerates from self-destruction. So he picked up the ability to use instant transmission yeah. and can teleport now. And that isn't even mentioning the things that Cell is theoretically capable of. He says to Piccolo that he's capable of wielding a spirit bomb. <sighs> he might be capable of pulling the Kaioken out, too. He's also a genius, let's not forget that. <laughs> yeah, he's and cool. he can create little baby versions of himself. Oh, yeah, of course. All of that's which wrong. are on par with everyone except for Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Oh, yeah, and in GT, he can absorb people like Boo can. That's it. I'm done. It's over. That was great. Wow. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I love it when they explain stuff, like, how ridiculous things are. It's... Wow. <sighs> Amazing. <laughs> I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball Z. I love Super. I love, I love when people point out how silly things are. It's great. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you guys very much for watching. What do you guys think of that? <clears throat> what do you guys think of this? Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave comments down below. Let me know what you should watch and discuss in future videos. And I'll see you guys, yes, all of you guys, next time.